Welcome back to the channel. We're Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper. In this series, we're showing you the best of the Isle of Wight, and this episode is all about the famous Needles Battery. It's a special day on the island, as there is a charity event on called Walk the Isle of Wight. So we're going to join in with that. We take a look around the old battery, take a ride down to the bottom of the cliffs in the cable car, and then out on a boat to see the needles. It's 6.49. I've heard one dog walker, that's all. Probably looks like we're on the right old slant there. But actually it was very comfortable last night. Bed slightly down at the front. Always makes for a better night's sleep, I find. Steam the cloths. Keep them nice and fresh. That really makes a difference, this heavy pan lid, doesn't it? Yeah, it seals all the steam in. Yeah. Bit of a grey start today. But the weather forecast says it's going to be clear and lovely weather. I bought a new pair of boots the other day made by a company called Freet. My feet always used to ache when I was out walking for the day, but I find with these, particularly my toes, they don't ache at all. It's Sunday morning and we've got no supplies in the van. Should really have bought some bacon and sausage when I was in Morrison's the other day. Everything all right in the camp, missus? Yeah. That's better. Make a move That's soon. Not. Closed, closed all day on a Sunday. Yeah, well, I did one that it doesn't look very open. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What so a tragedy. Good. We'll have to update Google then. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. on Google it says it's open at nine o'clock. Sugar Loaf, that's the one we wanted. There's a place down here called Colwell Captain's Cabin. Okie dokie. That reckons it's open down by the beach. So there's a car park here. The only problem is it's a bit drafty, isn't it? We had a really good breakfast in that um, captain's cabin. So just thank you um, to Jenny Turner for recommending it to us. Yeah, thank you, Jenny. Good one. The British do love their uh, bathing shelters, don't they? Some of these can go for an absolute fortune. Don't love the beach enough, really, to have one of these. We just passed a restaurant there, The Hut, which looks a really posh restaurant, really nicely laid out. And they do a tender service. So if you pull up here in your luxury yacht... You can have it delivered. They'll, or they'll come and get you. Oh, really? And bring you to the restaurant. Oh, I see. And there's all rules about they won't carry any intoxicated guests. No. <laughs> you must wear the life jacket provided. Yeah, I bet. Like that. Car park's still empty. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Why? Well, 
That's... I don't believe in car parking charges. That's why. <laughs> I think car parks should be free and that's what makes businesses grow. It wasn't too bad in the end, £1.80 for one hour. The hour was just right really. Yeah. Good job the service was quick in the cafe. Yeah, nice and fast. They were well trained at that cafe weren't they? Very well trained. Good Excellent. staff. Plenty of staff. And they all knew what they were doing. They all had their own little jobs. Uh, did them very well. Send work out. Yep, so we started this walk at 10.37. Thank you, Doki. And today is Walk the White, which I think is an event that happens every year to support local charities. And we've seen lots of um, coaches and that that are shuttling people backwards and forwards yep. through the gate. Cow. You're having a lovely day. I think you are. Rabbits! They feel safe there because there's a fence. I can just see one's little ears poking out. They're head butting, aren't they? I don't know why they're falling out. So, this bit up the top here is the new battery. Yeah, this is where they used to do rocket testing, isn't it? Yeah. And you can just see the tip of the Needles lighthouse poking over the left-hand edge. Mother, can you see me now? Even when I Suddenly things start tumbling down like fallen leaves But still I breathe that's the rib. Still I breathe. It's a lovely Still calm day for it, isn't it? Breathe. Mother, can you hear the gods? And how they laugh at me. Still I breathe Still I breathe Still I breathe So I would imagine that was a flame trench so all the flames from the rocket went out towards the ocean. Between 1956 and 1971 this area was used for the testing of the Black Knight and Black Arrow rockets and basically they weren't launched from here but this was used to test their engines. I assume that's a lookout for the Coast Guard now. What we got here then Charlie Brown? I don't know, can't go down. Uh, we have been in here before, haven't Underground we? bunkers. Yeah, there were rockets inside. Yeah. Hello. Right, going down to the old battery now. Is that open today? I hope yes, so. it is. Well, according to National Trust website, it was. These are those annoying type of steps, well, aren't they? you have to take a long stride. To be able to go one <laughs> after the other. What a beautiful bay. That's the Solent, folks. Over there is the mainland. Perfect weather for it, isn't it? 
What are these remains? They're the foundations of the Master Gunner's house. Sergeant Major Robert Lakeman lived here with his wife and family in the 19th century. So if you're coming here, it'll cost you £8.30 as an adult and £4.20 as a child. It took nine gunners six minutes to load and fire these guns and the shell could reach across the Solent almost to Hurst Castle which is very dim in the distance there on the horizon. Barney wants to say something, <laughs> I can always tell. So in 1913, yeah. this is where they tested Britain's first anti-aircraft gun. All right. And they fired it at a box kite that was being towed by a destroyer. So each shell from these big guns weighed 256 pounds. This is as far as you can walk. Uh, you may wonder why I don't put the drone up. Well, there's a lot of radio interference here. And also with so many seagulls, uh, they could soon knock it out of the air and I would lose it. So better safe than sorry, I think. Time for a cup of tea, I think. Sit up here? Yeah, sit up here for a bit, shall we? Cup of tea. Got the best view in town. You definitely have. I haven't had coffee and walnut cake for a long, long time. Come on, Chutney, down you go. Am I going first? Yeah, you oh, go yeah. first. It's a very and tight spiral. And then if spiral. I fall, you'll cushion my fall. Yeah, you? Oh, someone's coming oh, up. Someone's coming up, yeah, right. Yeah, look out. just coming up. Oh, is it one way up and down? <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way. No, no. definitely not. <laughs> coming down. <laughs> coming down, ready or not. It's quite difficult. Yeah, be careful, buddy. Yeah. Because it's very tiny yes. and the steps like, are tiny. It's quite difficult with a rucksack on, isn't it? To get your feet on. Yeah. Very echoey down here. It's nice and cool though, isn't it? Yeah, lovely on a hot day. Yeah. Hello there. Ooh, yeah. So this is the old searchlight position. It's in better days, this one. Uh, foghorn there. Oh, blimey, if that went off and you were in here. All these lovely little purple flowers. La, 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 la. Okay, coming up. So the original lighthouse was built here in 1786, but because it was so high above the ground, it was often shrouded in mist and sea fog. So they built the current one in 1856. And even now, that's quite often covered in fog, so they have to blare the foghorn to warn ships to keep clear of the needles. The Northern Position Finding Cell. Here you go. Cool. Imagine sleeping in here. Yeah, it'd be nice, I think. <sighs> Especially in a storm, wouldn't it? Because you're nice and safe. Unless there's a war on. Yeah, but have you seen what's on the blanket? What's on the blanket? Bugs. Ooh. Last night I was severely bitten by what I presume to be a kind of blanket bug. This is not the first time I've suffered this in the army. It is different from a flea, making only comparatively small bites. Well, they've got a great view of enemy aircraft. Um, <laughs> enemy shipping. <laughs> got a great view out of here but it's so exposed, it holds the um, speed, wind speed record for England, 122 miles per hour gusts. Here comes the slow boat. How much do they charge to 
Stay in there, Bunny. Five pounds for a car all day and ten pounds for a camper van or motorhome. Always piques me when they charge more for a camper van. <laughs> Walk the white finish up here. Do you think we're going to get a medal? Oh my gosh, that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> <We're going up. laughs> uh, how much do they sting us for the chairlift? It was eight pound each return. Return. It's four yeah. pound each way. Okay, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> don't Do swing, now. what are you talking no, about? Don't fall out through <laughs> the hole. Good tip, solid tip. There we are, look at that, floating through the trees. <laughs> well, you can scream at every little bang. Wait till you go over the edge. It wobbles a lot, doesn't it? It's got a little wobble on all the time. Over the pinnacle, enjoying yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might be in time for the boat. Hi. Right. Get ready to disembark. Yep. Cheers. Right here, guys. Ready? Yep. Thank you. Bummer. We just missed the boat. Just missed it, didn't we, Charlie? Quite stony, really, isn't it? Good test for your freak shoes. Yeah, you can feel the can stones. Can you feel the stones? You can feel the stones, yeah. Because these are quite big stones, so yeah. how do they feel? Well, you're just conscious of them there, that's all. It's not, you know, too bad or anything. The rib boat is there, but we did that eight years ago. I don't fancy that today. A bit too cold for us. We'd rather the steady, slow boat. All togged up. It's going to be cold out there. The further you get out, the colder it becomes, yes, doesn't it? But it's a cold mist as well on the sea. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we get there, everything's going to be a mist. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. No. You said there's 21 colours there. The places that I've been The faces mine are friends Falling Falling In the With murky Yeah, it's getting really cold now, isn't it? Yeah, so then this is going to have to down. layer up on the way back. Well, I haven't got any more layers. Oh, I'm dear. wearing all my layers. Oh dear, she hasn't got any more layers. Yeah. I've got more layers. It's all the coloured sand, isn't it? Here's the old, all the buses to get everybody home. <clears throat> okay, which way do we go? We just met Jill and she's got her husband Michael. And uh, nice to meet you, Jill. Yeah, nice. Thanks for saying hello. We always like meeting people, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at that, all day parking free and camper vans free. We've just noticed this sign on our way back. 
and yet when we looked it said ten pounds to park, didn't it? Yeah, I wonder if it's because it's the walk the white day, it's special. Soon be in the mist. Back Charlie Brown. How far have we walked then? 7.8 miles. That's a good walk. Here's a little red camper. Is it all right? There it is. Just as we left it. Charlie's making toast and tea. We deserve it, don't we, Bunny? We do. Here comes the honey. Mm. That's what you need after a big walk. Here comes the lemon curd. Delicious. We're getting some noodles from the Sunbo Chinese Takeaway. No idea what it's going to be like. Okay, I've gone for special chow mein and just noodles. I'm not having anything extra because I'm being good. Meanwhile, Charlie Brown is struggling with the iPad and all we want to do is watch those happy days, isn't it? I'm just going to watch a video, but I had to get the sound up. Okay. What have you gone for, Bunny? I've gone for um, mixed vegetable chow mein. Mixed veg. After the dinner comes the washing up, even if it is just a takeaway. Well, I rated that takeaway. Yes, Funny, isn't it? Because the reviews were mixed. Yeah. I found nothing wrong with that at all, and I thought the portions were generous. Yeah, but we did just have the chow mein. Yeah, other people were complaining about other, other things, things, weren't they? Other things were being complained about, and yeah. somebody did say the chow, chow mein was fine. Yeah. Um, so we that. don't know. Right, Chinese is really tasty yeah. and now we need to find somewhere to park up for the night and we're going to go to somewhere that's been recommended by several people. So if you want to know what that is, keep watching. <laughs> for a good read. We really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please hit the subscribe button, give us a like and turn on notifications. In the next episode we're going to be visiting Yarmouth with its castle and then the old town hall and nature reserve.